As of the date that this video was uploaded, the Northern Utah Web SDR system has 37 separate receivers, 30 of which are located at the remote site in rural Northern Utah. Almost everyone is familiar with Web SDR number one, the yellow one, but our surveys have revealed that a surprising number of users seem to be unaware of the other receivers and antennas that are available for use. On each web SDR, not too far below the frequency entry box, is a series of buttons that switch between bands of the server that you are using at that moment. But if you look below the server's own buttons, you'll see another set of color-coded buttons. Clicking on one of these will switch to that server and band. For example, let's start at the landing page and go to web SDR number 1, the yellow server, which is primarily for the low-frequency bands, such as 2200, 630, 160, 80, 60, and 40 meters. If we click on one of the green buttons, we'll go to Web SDR number 2, the green server, which is dedicated for the higher FF bands, namely 30, 20, 17, 15, 12, 10, and 6 meters. Both of these servers primarily use the TCI 530 a 90-foot-tall, omnidirectional log periodic antenna on site. While designed for transmission from 3 to 30 megahertz, it does an excellent job of receiving from about 630 through 10 meters. 2200 meters, by the way, is received using a short E-field whip antenna mounted about 20 feet off the ground, while 6 meters uses a full-size J-pole cut for that band. Web SDR number 3, the blue server, is used primarily for backup of the popular 80 and 40 meter bands using the omnidirectional antenna should Web SDR number 1 go offline, and it also provides coverage of the 2 meter band from this rural location using a south pointing beam antenna, allowing it to hear repeaters in the Salt Lake City area. Experimentally, this server also covers several shortwave broadcast bands via the omnidirectional antenna as well. While the other on-site Web SDR servers use primarily the omnidirectional antenna, Web SDR number 4, the Magenta server, uses exclusively an east-pointing log periodic beam antenna at 82 feet for coverage of 40 through 10 meters. The aiming of this antenna causes it to favor the eastern U.S. and Canada with its 10 to 13 dBi gain, although its pattern is such that it has more or less unity gain off the sides and the back of the antenna roughly comparable to that of a dipole antenna. Finally, there's one more Web SDR server associated with the Northern Utah Web SDR, but this one is not located at the site in rural Northern Utah, but rather in the eastern part of the Salt Lake Valley at a fairly high location. This server can be used to receive repeaters and many simplex users in and around the Salt Lake Valley on 2 meters in the top 4 megahertz of the 70 centimeter band. There is also coverage of the bottom segment of the 6-meter band and a special high-sensitivity receiver for the 2-meter space-to-earth segment. Coverage has been added to allow reception of some of the most heavily used air traffic control frequencies. In the future, we hope to improve our coverage even more, perhaps with the addition of more bands and antennas. If you have a suggestion along these lines, Please send us an email using the link found in the About This Web SDR and Contact Info link on all of the Web SDRs. Finally, please be sure to check out the other Web SDR servers found worldwide at WebSDR.org. Thanks for watching.